It's all look. That's I think the most important uh, part of this this uh, really equation again is um, how we create characters. There's so much that happens in Hollywood now uh, based on orthodoxies and goes to this the nature of of fear because producers, investors, filmmakers, studios are worried about failure. They tend to take the most conservative course. They want to find a, a standardized way of making films. They want to find an orthodoxy. And that extends uh, to the screenplay. There's all these script gurus and there are books, which you know and your listeners will know, uh, that are always about uh, the three acts and about very specific uh, structures. And it is prescriptive. Uh, you have to write uh, script in a particular way. You have to reach plot points by a particular page. I mean, some go right down, say page 10 or page 11, something specific has to happen. Mm -hmm. So when you write using that methodology, you begin having your characters speak to serve narrative. And in life, uh, we don't speak to serve narrative because we don't know what our life narrative is going to be. We wake up in chaos, we live in chaos, we go to bed uh, in chaos. The old joke, how do you make God laugh? You know, you make plans. <laughs> and it is that inconsistency of the human experience that we recognize in each other. But often we don't see it in films. And the audience naturally senses when a character isn't speaking as they speak or as people they know speak. They know when your character is serving narrative you, they know when your character is providing exposition to give them information about where the narrative is inevitably going to turn mm. to the point where most of us within five minutes, we don't have to be filmmakers, can kind of predict where a movie's going to go. But we can't predict where our lives are going to go. And ultimately, our lives, therefore, are sometimes more compelling than the movies that we watch. So when you look at other writers or filmmakers, so people like Mike Lee, for example, John Cassavetes, they don't always make the most commercial of films, but they do create some of the most interesting characters because the characters have many agendas. They are addressing uh, voices uh, long dead. They're speaking to their parents. They're talking about their own inadequacies. They're thinking about their work, but they're thinking about their lovers. They're thinking about all the things that constantly engage us in ordinary life. And that's the way we navigate the human experience. And that's the way really our character should navigate the human experience to be wholly believable. It is the verisimilitude of a character that how they replicate our actual experience of the non-cinematic world, that we identify them as real. Um, if there isn't that verisimilitude, if that character doesn't seem to have our own inconsistencies, we can enjoy a film, but it's as if we're observing it rather than fully engaging in it. Mm. 